down today. You are beautiful. Every scar, every stretch mark, every blemish, every imperfection is beautiful. You are beautiful. The way you walk is earth shattering. The earth wants to crack open and show you nothing could ever be more tectonic than you. The way you speak with healing at the edge of your tongue. Every word you speak is a prayer. Is it from a God or to one? You are beautiful. Your skin's melanin shines brighter than the Milky Way. And no galaxy can ever retain enough stars to outnumber out your blackness. Black isn't a curse, it's a blessing. When the bushes made the spell, it made everything beautiful and it came out brown. There is no need to change the color. Love the skin that you are in because brown is the color of salvation. You are beautiful, not because of what you have on the outside, but because of your internal workings are nothing short of impression. Your brain is one of an artist able to make people feel. You have hands of a blacksmith touches your way of making worlds. You have universes at your fingertips. You are beautiful. That organ beating inside your chest is the first miracle you just performed. You make me crumble to my knees, like kneeling for the national anthem, like Martin Luther King Jr. kneeling. Please take a hold of our power and glory, because, young buck, you are beautiful. <laughs> Lots of minorities don't get the chance to have their voice heard. 
Milo in a way represents us at Crystal Ray. Only the seniors were in Buck. But having you here at Crystal Ray today gives us gives our student body a chance to hear your amazing story. The authenticity that you bring is a match. Of course, we could share your story ourselves, but we but with you here, we could get a better understanding of your story. Thank you. A round of applause, a special shout out to the MCs that rapped. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> to, the, to the trio of poets right here, let's give them a round of applause. I want to, to, to the singer, where's the singer at? Right there. Yeah, right there. Um, and everybody who came up here and blessed us and haven't read the book, you know, or, or just want to know insight into why I wrote the book. Uh, I wanted to write a book about the graceful survival against impossible circumstances. I, wanna write, I wanted to write a book about education, about miseducation, re-education, self-education, street education, the difference between school and education. And I talk about that in the book. Um, I wanted to write a book that, you know, introduced the world to Philly, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, like, like some of you were saying, you know, if, if, you, if you're not from Philly, some things in the book, you know, they'll be new to you. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to introduce the world to, to different things that are uniquely Philly. You know what I mean? Um, I also wanted to write the book for you. Um, even though I don't know you individually, even though I know a few of y'all because I met y'all the other day at, uh, at the library. But like, I wanted to write a book, you know, they say, so I have this, this motto, this mantra, if you make an observation, you have an obligation. So observation, obligation, you know what I'm saying? It just means if you see something, then don't just complain about it, do something about it. Be part of the solution, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, one of the things that, one of the observations I made was like, damn, there's no, there's no book that that I would want to read, you know what I'm saying, when I was in high school or in college. You know, I, I wanted a book that I felt like told our story, a book that would resonate with people that was real. I was like, I'm not writing the book if it's not real. You know what I'm saying? If I can't be me and just do me and be real about my experiences, then there's no point in writing it. Because I know if I'm real and I'm honest, it's gonna force other people to be honest and be real, you know what I mean? Um, and so, you know, I wrote Buck because of that. Because um, I wanted something that was educational, but also something that was also fun to read, you know what I mean? Because the experiences that I've been through, you know, some of them are funny, interesting, you know what I mean, wild. But I know you could relate to them, and I know it would get you interested in reading. So.